the red flowers have been seen on Kate Middleton, Prince William, King Charles, and other royals. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe for more updates on the royal family. This month, the royal family will be wearing a special accessory. Royal observers may have noticed that members of the royal family have been wearing red poppy pins with their outfits in recent days. Both Kate Middleton and Prince William wore the flowers on their November 3rd outing in Scarborough, with the Prince of Wales also wearing them with his tuxedo at the 10th Annual Tusk Conservation Awards, and his suit for the Film Africa Festival earlier in the week. The pins were also worn by King Charles III, Queen Camilla, and Princess Anne, when they welcomed athletes from the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games as well as the Beijing 2022 Olympic and Paralympic Games, to a reception at Buckingham Palace. The red poppy pins become a staple in the royal wardrobe every November. Since 1921, the poppy has been used to honour military personnel who have died in battle. The red flower is primarily associated with the United Kingdom and Commonwealth countries for Remembrance Day, which is observed on November the 11th. The poppy symbol is thought to have originated with John McRae's poem, In Flanders Fields, which was written during World War I. The first stanza begins as follows. In Flanders fields the poppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky. The larks, still bravely singing, fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below. The Royal British Legion sells the pins in the United Kingdom to raise funds for veterans. Although less common, the symbol is also used in the United States. Before Memorial Day in 1922, the veterans of foreign wars distributed the first nationwide distribution of remembrance poppies, and the American Legion Auxiliary distributes paper poppies, in exchange for donations around Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Members of the royal family will take part in a number of events honouring military personnel this month, culminating in the National Service of Remembrance, also known as Remembrance Sunday. They will gather in London for a service at the Cenotaph War Memorial. Due to a sprained back, Queen Elizabeth missed the Remembrance Day service last year. According to a royal source, she is deeply disappointed because the moving ceremony is one of the most significant engagements of the year. Her son Charles, who succeeded his mother as King Charles on September 8, laid a wreath at the Queen's memorial. It's also likely that the royal family's social media accounts will change their photos to reflect the solemn nature of the occasion, as they have in previous years around Remembrance Day. On Twitter and Instagram, the royal family pages follow the work of King Charles, Queen Camilla, and other royals, while Kate and Prince William have separate accounts. Thanks for watching until the end, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates and share this video.